The Barriga Negra, or the Black Belly as it is known, is a breed of domestic sheep from the tropical island of Barbados. The breed has its heritage in Africa and Europe. They were brought to the Caribbean during the mid 1600s. Today, this breed is mainly reared for its meat and byproducts that are in high demand. But why sheep? And why the Barbados Barriga Negra? This particular meat is imported in countries across the world and is valued at US $8 billion for every 1.2 metric tons. This meat is specifically craved in Caribbean islands such as the Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, and Jamaica, which are key countries for tourism in the Caribbean community. As years went by, the import value of sheep meat, called mutton, has skyrocketed, with Trinidad and Tobago importing almost US $18 million in mutton, lamb, and chevron meat combined. With the demand increasing specifically in the Caribbean community, and with the goal to reduce the region's import bill by 25% by 2025, Guyana has been earmarked as the most appropriate territory for this type of investment. Already, government has invested US $3 million to kickstart the program, with an initial flock of 1,000 black belly sheep to arrive in the next few weeks. This project will see Guyana investing a total of US $125 million with an estimated annual return of US $43 million. With massive expansion happening in the agricultural sector, His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali on March 27 launched the highly anticipated Black Belly Sheep Project. Close to 80 farmers in Mahaika Burbis Region 5 have already committed their time, talent and resources to bringing this dream to fruition, with full-time professionals coming on board to assist in its execution. Even as government seeks to create employment and ensure Guyana remains as the leader in agriculture in the Caribbean, women and youths are not forgotten as they will play an integral part. For this specific project in Region 5, we want 20% of those farms to be led by women. At least 20% of the farms must be led by women. And 35% of the farms must have youth involvement that is young people below the age of 35. This is part of building the future. This is part of empowerment. These are real targets and a real approach in involvement of people. So not only must agriculture be about food production, it must be built on erasing biases. We spoke with residents, farmers, and even university students to hear their thoughts on this initiative. Ms. Gopal, now today there has been a major launching of the Black Belly Sheep Project. What do you think about this investment, especially being made here in Region 5? I think it's an excellent initiative um, because um, it would increase the population of the sheep production within the region and um, also the black belly sheep. What I know of, it's a milky kind of an animal. Um, the offspring, they are um, excellent offspring and the meat is good. And so if you actually have a black belly and you mix it with any other breed, you're going to have a good offspring. I must commend the government on this initiative of um, importing the Barbados black belly. I am very pleased to know that women and um, youths would be involved in this. Um, there are times you have a lot of single mothers who take care of their kids. And so this would be an excellent initiative um, that the government is looking forward to do with um, women and youths. It's very good for, for agriculture because you've got to create more jobs for people. Young people are going to be able to mine more stock, more jobs and everything. The breadbasket is going to be much more bigger for farmers and non-farmers because a non-farmer is going to get a job from the farmer like cutting grass, like for supplementary feeding and what have you. Personal for like for me, I am actually, I must say, a disability person. 
I get food problem, right? So I will glad for know it is initiative that for this government bring me for us for the agriculture that I could mine more stock and I could employ people to work along with me. I was most elated to hear that um, from the president himself because as a woman in agriculture, we have been uh, very pivotal to um, the development and we are qualified and we have the capacity to drive the agricultural sector in Guyana. So I'm really grateful that he has considered women and young people um, graduates from the university again as well as GSA uh, to uh, use their knowledge and competencies to have this dream realized. Well in terms of young people I think we have a lot of young people now trying to step away from our culture so trying to bring them back into the system is a priority. I was one of the person who was identified by FEO 2017. We went to Barbados on a two weeks program on the same black belly issue of moving animals across Guyana into Barbados and from Barbados into Guyana. And then when I get there and see the black belly and the type of breeds that those black belly is very interesting. This is one of the best or the better initiative because those sheep in Barbados drop up to five. Right? So if we can get those kind of breed here, then our project and we stock would rise faster, we need to get the amount that we're looking about in terms of breed, genetics and so forth. So I'm saying wonderful initiative and we the West Barbies Sheep and Good Farmers Association, we capitalize on this and work along with the Ministry of Agriculture, with the government at large us to enhance this and make ourselves better farmers. I think it's a wonderful venture, you know, the President spoke about reducing 25% of importation bills by 2025 and through this project we will be able to you know help along with that. As everyone knows human resource is an important asset to the country so when everyone has jobs not only would it help with the not only would it help them to contribute to taxes but it would also help them to be self-sufficient and also help in social mobility so persons that didn't have let's say the opportunities to have certain things in life like houses and cars they can now have that have the opportunity to be more self-sufficient for themselves and also to climb the social ladder keen to develop the agri sector a whopping 900 plus million dollars will be poured towards its development in this year alone. This project ties into the multiplicity of initiatives being spearheaded by government to bolster production and to diversify the economy, even in the face of a lucrative oil and gas sector. It also provides a plethora of employment, leading to the government's promised 50,000 jobs by the end of its five-year term.